NCDOT says just because rain isn't falling doesn't mean waters aren't rising. Today, there are new road closures. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Marius Payton. We just got the latest death numbers from Hurricane Florence. 41 deaths with 31 in North Carolina. People forced out of their homes by Hurricane Florence are still waiting to go home. And roads all over the state are still underwater tonight, and in some cases, the water washed the road away. CBS 17's Lauren Haviland is live in Wayne County. And Lauren, it's one of the places that drivers can expect detours for quite some time. Yeah, so here is a detour that we want to tell you about because you can see why. This is an exit off Highway 117. Most people take this exit to get on to 70, but as you can see, it's underwater. Even though Florence is gone, the storm continues to make an impact. Eventually, we will recover from this. Many roads in Wayne County still closed, causing detours and traffic jams for drivers. An hour, hour and a half just to make a five mile you know, drive. A number of secondary roads and highways are covered in water. CBS 17 drove through the detour on Highway 117, which is down to one lane in each direction. We have to wait till the water goes down before they can start looking at structural integrity and finding out where the washed out spots are. But on NC 55, it's dry and you can see part of the highway has washed away. Safety is the priority, so they're out there actually today uh, working on that road already. We were there as a team from FEMA assessed the damage. County officials tell me it's important to note the process is going to take time. Rebuilding period takes months after the storm. I mean, there's still people from Hurricane Matthew that are still trying to rebuild their lives. And this evening, state officials continue to urge drivers just not to get onto the roads, especially on the southeastern counties. I'm going to have more on that from state officials coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in Goldsboro, Lauren Havlin, CBS 17 News. 